which is one of those crops along with tomatoes. If you've got a tomato garden in your backyard, probably going pretty nicely for you as we get into some of this heat. Marysville, so you heard uh, Melanie talking about the uh, fair opening up at four o'clock tonight. That's when some of the really significant heat is going to be kind of bubbling up around Marysville. So expect that around three o'clock. We're at 102 at that point sunshine and probably 104 right around 4 p.m. and not much relief, especially as we go towards the five and six o'clock time frame. We're looking at a daytime high today in Marysville going up to about 106. So just be prepared to find shade, stay hydrated and try to stay as cool as you can if you're going to be heading out to the Peach Festival later on this evening. In here around the morning time frame, it's nice as we look across uh, Rancho Cordova. Sitting at 62, not a bad morning to go out on the bike trail there along the American River. Looking at 64 in Stockton, 66 to start the day in Modesto, and we're down into the low 40s across the Sierra. For the valley today, especially around Sacramento, it's just going to get incrementally hot, and it's going to be a hotter day today than it was yesterday. By 10 o'clock, we're already close to the 80 degree mark. Lunchtime temperature goes up to 93. By 2 o'clock, we're at the century mark, and that heat continues to build as we go towards 4 o'clock. That's the peak of it this afternoon at 105, but even around six o'clock, if you're trying to do outdoor barbecuing, things like that, still pretty hot at 102. Now by eight o'clock tonight, if you're going to concerts in the park or something like that outdoors, the fair, you're looking at temperatures in the upper 90s. So there's going to be very little relief in terms of, you know, even eight, nine, 10 o'clock this evening. Big area of high pressure continues to expand and we're close enough to it today again to signal a little bump in the temperatures, but watch as it kind of works its way even closer to us by Saturday. So it's that access point that helps to fuel those temperatures up and tomorrow is going to be the worst of the heat in this heat wave. And even on Sunday, it's still close enough to keep temperatures pretty hot. Not until Tuesday, it starts to a weaken a little bit, sliding off to the east and allowing a bit more relief in terms of getting a feed of that onshore flow into Tuesday of next week. But the worst of it is yet to come. Excessive heat warning starts tomorrow and goes all the way through Sunday evening for potential for dangerous heat in the areas here highlighted in the pink. And that's pretty much all of our viewers that are watching right now. Highs in the range of 100 to 110 with those overnight lows offering very limited relief only dropping off into the 70s. So you have to have a heat plan when it's going to be this hot outside. Avoid the peak heating of the day noon to 6 p.m. and also try to stay cool. And if you can't stay cool, your AC kind of bites